Hi guys, this is your host Sajju Gupta today with Lenovo K4 Note pitched against Moto G3. So let's check out which phone is the better one. So friends, as you can see, both the phones have a really nice display. But K4 Note has a full HD bigger 5.5 inch display. So obviously the colors and everything looks great on this phone. Moto G3 is not that bad, but it's a smaller 5 inch HD display. Some people prefer a bigger display for that K4 Note is the phone you are looking at. Overall, the touch is good enough in both the phones. And if I talk about the build quality, Moto G3 has a robust build quality or not so robust build quality in Lenovo K4 Note. Although the side bezel is metallic in K4 Note as well as in the Moto G3. But uh, Moto G3 also offers you water resistant. So you can dip it in water or you splash water on it. This phone won't get spoiled. Same cannot be said about the Lenovo K4 Note. So the back plate on both the phones is movable. It's a flexible plastic back plate in both the phones. Now the battery is non-removable and in Moto G3 the battery compartment is completely sealed and it's obvious because this phone is waterproof. But do remember that you need to have this back covering for the phone to be actually waterproof otherwise water will seep in these sim cards and micro SD card slot. So both the phones have a sim card slot, two sim card slots and a micro SD card slot so no hybrid stuff over here. In terms of battery backup guys, 3300 mAh battery on Lenovo K4 Note as compared to 2470 mAh battery on Moto G3. Now, battery backup is better on K4 Note. The phone easily lasts one day. Huge battery, 3300 mAh. But uh, Moto G3, it's not a bad battery. It's slightly better than average. But still, if you want... If you person who loves a bigger battery and you find it, you know, problematic to plug in phone every now and then, that's one of my traits, then K4 Note is the phone you are looking at. Checking for the USB OTG support now. Moto G3 does support USB OTG that I just showed to you. And now let's check for Lenovo K4 Note. And... Uh, it too does support a USB OTG and it directly opens and categorizes all your stuff in cool folders so that it's, it's a good thing for ease of use. So guys, I ran into two benchmark and this is the score. Lenovo K4 Note gets a bigger score but surprisingly when it comes to heavy gaming, uh, I played Walking War Robot, Modern Combat 5 and a few other games. On both of these phones, now Walking War Robots is a pretty heavy game. It's online multiplayer games. K4 Note was not able to, you know, give me a smooth gameplay. Whereas, I got a smoother gameplay on Moto G3. Now, its processor is 615. It heats up after, say, 20 minutes of gaming. But then, till those 20 minutes, you can, gay, you can play that game properly. That is not the case with Leno K4 Note. When it comes to multitasking, K4 Note has more RAM. 3 GB of total RAM and 2GB of RAM. However, since this is a pure Android phone, Moto G3, multitasking is smooth on it with 2GB of RAM and Snapdragon 615. K4 Note also gives me a decent performance. And let me show you that it has a MediaTek processor and MediaTek processors are not notorious for heating. So I'm getting a good performance on both of these phones but when gaming is concerned K4 Note is not a phone for heavy gaming whereas heavy gaming can be done on Moto G3. Checking the 13 megapixel camera performance in both the phones friends this image was taken with the flash on and image has come out well and in a pretty detailed mode in Moto G3. So Moto G3's rear camera is much better than Lenovo K4 Note. Let me show you another image with the flash off. And this was the photograph with the flash off. Again, you can see that the, oh, there is no overexposure in Moto G3. And with flash off, K4 Note is matching a Moto G3. But uh, overall, with the flash on and off, you will get a better image in Moto G3. Uh, as far as front camera is concerned, 
here K4 Note performs uh, slightly better than Moto G3. It's not a big difference, but uh, it's a difference which you can see easily. And uh, on zooming it, uh, K4 Note has a better front facing camera than the Moto G3. So friends, go for Moto G3 if you want a pure Android experience and you want gaming from your phone. Plus this phone is pretty rough and tough uh, and there are less chances of breaking it whether it's body or the display. Go for K4 Note if you want that Theater Max experience. The battery lasts much longer than Moto G3 and it's a bigger display. The speakers of Moto G3 are no match because I'm having Dolby Atmos speakers. So eventually these are some concrete differences. Guys, wait, before you move on to next video, now you might be buying either of these phones from Amazon or Flipkart. What if I tell you you can get some cool cashback deals, uh, you know, confirm discounts and rupees 100 on sign up if you go to shop back. So eventually you will be buying either of these phones from Flipkart or Amazon. You'll get that trust, but you will also get cool discount from Shopback. So do check out everything about Shopback in the description below and do hit the subscribe button over here. I'll see you soon guys. Have a great day.